Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Argentina. So guys, we are back here in another episode where we are attacking Paraguay. Well, actually, Paraguay attacked us, thinking that we were weak and pathetic and that they could beat us. Yeah, they're idiots. <laughs> I mean, the proof of the matter is, is that they're going against a human player. I mean, if this was an AI, they probably could beat him because the AI would most likely not go for the, you know, more strategic spots of, like, Paraguay's weakness. They'd probably just, like, sit here and be like, derp -a -derp, let's just go attack the army. Oh, look, I won. Now I'm going to attack this army. Oop. Oops, now they have, like, a ton of spawn troops. Oh, now I'm dead. You know, something like that. For me, though, I'm a, I'm a human player. So I know how to play this game. And I know how to beat AI. And AI is really easy to beat. So, yeah. Um, but I don't believe I'm going to be staying in this war. Why? Because, honestly, since I'm not gaining anything out of this war, I'm not going to be, you know gaining any prestige or I'm not going to be gaining any like stuff out of it there's no point in staying this war it isn't like in CK2 where you can enforce demands and like you know gain 20 200 prestige or something you just get white piece and war does not succeed you know war does not succeed that's the only two things you can get out of this or you add your own war goal but I don't want to add the infamy because I do basically I do want to annex this nation in the future I do want to annex Paraguay in the future but for right now we can't do it, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay? Okay, let's continue. White piece. Now that we're at white piece, now what I'm going to do is quickly adjust my economy back to, you know, non, non, um, death levels, I should say. Because as you guys can see, we are on the bug schedule. Give us a second. It's going to, the economy has to adjust. There we go. All right, yeah. We were on the bug schedule, which means the bug schedule is the where our economy collapsed for like two or three days and then it recovers. I hate the bug schedule, but it's just what happens. So, but I think I'm starting to adjust the economy. I'm pretty sure it's now going to stabilize and we're all going to be fine and dandy and everything. So anyways, what our next goal is, is going to be is that we have to start encouraging more industry in our land. Why do you have to start encouraging more industry in our lands? Because that's what we, that's what we do. We're Argentina. We encourage, we are trying to become one of the biggest nations in the world. And to become one of the biggest nations in the world, you have to, you know, industrialize. So, that's what we're going to try to do. Um, another thing I am going to try to do is I am going to try to get some more political reforms going. Because I definitely want to be like, insanely, insanely, by the way, reform nationalization. Eh. I, I don't really mind nationalization right now. Well, you know what? Since I'm not really, since I don't really have anyone around me, let's perform nationalization and see what happens. Oh, wow. We got a lot more money for like a quick second. That was nice. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, Let's see. We can also, I guess we can also decrease this to like 70. I mean, it's still staying up at a pretty good education rate. Um, yes, I kind of realized last episode that this was education, this was administration. I got them confused, but you know what? It still worked out pretty well, but we have to stabilize our economy. And holy sight discovered! Things have gone from bad to worse than where our colonial police, while in pursuit of the local two suspected of murdering a colonial official, have happened to this. That is really bad grammar. Have had. They. How, how, that is really bad grammar right there. Have happened to disturb a shrine of some importance to- Oh no, it does work out yet. To the local religiously- I, I really should not comment, because I, I make up- I really should not comment about bad grammar in a game when If you look at all my descriptions, I usually have some kind of mistake. But yeah, eventually what I want to get is more separatists, because separatists push for more reforms, and that's kind of what I need. You guys, remove it so Argentina Mato Grosso. I'm really- also, people, I am really, really trying to pronounce all these names right, because I really do not want to mess them up, and I'm really, really trying. It's just, I'm an ignorant American, and honestly, we don't care about anything else but English. And even then, we don't care about anything else. So, if I pronounce anything wrong, I am very sincerely sorry to any Argentinians that watch me and, you know, see it. I'm trying my best, so know that I am trying my best. And yes, we have one industrial power! That means, what are we producing? Uh, a little bit of Monte Grosso and a little bit over there. That's good. Um, we have our workers starting to become more numerous, which is nice. Let's see. Do we have the amount? We don't have the amount of clergymen I'd like. Um, let's see. You guys are done. 
Now, I'll keep that there just for a little bit so it can get to 1.0. And yeah, as you guys can see, now it's starting to skyrocket our economy. What I'm going to do is decrease the tariffs because I want to encourage, I want to encourage economic, you know, economic deficiency. Well, not deficiency. <laughs> not deficiency. I mean, economic boom in our country because I'm not really going to go to war for a little bit. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of staying out of, like, the eternal affairs of a lot of different countries because I don't really need to do anything. I mean, I would like an alliance with Argentina if I could get it. I, I mean, Chile, <laughs> Chile. Not Argentina, Argentina's me. But an alliance with Chile because, honestly, I'm not planning on invading Chile anytime soon. And because of events, I don't really need to go and conquer them. So, you know, well, what would be the point? And honestly, the only places I would really want in Chile would be there like um, this region and this region. Basically, basically, if you must put it down to, ooh. You know, I would love, I would love the research points, but prestige is way worth more at the beginning of this game. And we need to keep, we need to get back in the second day power listing. Right now we aren't in it, but it really annoys me. But yeah, um, the only reason, the only reason, the only region, reason and region I would want in Chile would be this region right here, which is the main capital and the good producer of lots of really good finite stuff. And for the rest of I mean, the copper might be nice in the beginning of the game, but like, by the time we get to that point of conquesting them, it's just, it's already too late, so. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just not worth it from an economic standpoint, so, yeah. I mean, I could probably get the same, you know, goods if I just go and conquer Peru, Bolivia. Which, Peru, Bolivia is kind of scaring me right now. You know, the fact that they finished off the annexation of their um, pet vassals of South Peru, Basically means that we're gonna have a big powerhouse over here, you know, in set in uh, Central South America, which is kind of scaring me. I'm not gonna deny people that kind of scares me just a little bit. Oh, by the way, let's repay back all of our loans. That way, I don't have any inflation. Let's see, you guys go up to about 55, 50, 50, 60. We could probably increase this to 65. There we go. All right. And, yeah, that, this is going to be a really scary alliance right here, which is kind of why we also need the Chilean alliance, so that we can, um, so we can use that to our best advantage. Although, will they accept an alliance from me? Uh, hindsight, probably not. They're probably not going to accept an alliance from me, because I'm one of their mortal enemies. I am Argentina, the nation to the east of us. Yes, no. Do not correct me on my, do not correct me on my directions, I already know I, oh yes, the king of Sardinia visits Argentina, yay, that just gave me enough prestige to get what I needed to do, and I need to get a national conference going, uh, this gives me, lose five prestige, uh, can I afford that right now, but, uh, okay, but, I don't think I can afford that right now, but what I need to start doing is I need to start, um, getting voting franchises into my people. I need to start getting my people very much educated and wanting to vote and wanting to reform the government. So that basically my government becomes like the best in the world. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, let's move, let's move to, let's not go to America, that, you know, weird country over there in the north. Let's go to, let's go to Argentina. It's the best place in the world. So, yeah. Let's see, I'm making a ton of money right now. <laughs> okay, um. Let's see, we have to first max... Before you start lowering your taxes, my best, the rule of thumb is always you want to make sure you max, you basically have to maximize all your other production lines. And let's see, we could probably get this up to 60%. No, not 100. 60%. 61, 60. Yeah, just the rule of thumb, guys, for any, like, new players out there. Always make sure you maximize, you know, max. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Max out this before you start lowering out any of the taxes, because unless you do that, then you will have insane amounts of difficulty. Okay? Like, your economy will soon start to flutter before it needs to, and you just run up with more difficulties than you have to. Okay. And right now, I have an entirely good alliance with our good friends at Chile. Hopefully, they'll like us. And yay! Choco becomes a state! Yay! Okay, and now since we have officially got 1% of all, we should have 1% of craftsmen in almost every single place we don't. So, what I'm first going to do is I'm first going to increase education over here in uh, Berlin, Alaeus. 
just because that's our capital region and because if we have a lot of clergymen there that basically sets the trend for the rest of the clergymen everywhere else and since we need that extra bonus right now we need it we need that extra bonus we're gonna do it all right there we go you now become a state huzzah and you are instantly like a lot you instantly become like two percent of the population because this is such a low population that any kind of like bureaucrats are just like instantly like let's see how many bureaucrats are here anyways let's see bureaucrats make up zero percent and somehow it, and somehow we got 2.2 percent of the population here somebody please explain that to me because i feel like there was some math going wrong here anyways let's continue so yeah we're still just kind of chilling right now burning off a lot of our infamy just kind of you know just kind of remaining in second place begin assimilating ah oh. oh my goodness i would love to assimilate right now but i can't accept that too in for me Ugh. that makes me so mad i usually love assimilating regions but like that infamy man that infamy i can't accept it right now but we're gonna get our we're gonna get our get our clergyman back up to 2.2 i'm gonna go like to 2.10 once i get to 2.10 then I'll stop and then we can start doing bureaucrats and then we can start like then I think after that I'm gonna start encouraging uh, First let me encourage this factory that's gonna be built in uh, Bilolaeus um, Why because I need to make sure that we build factories Over here in Bilolaeus. I need to make sure that we build factories in my capital region because my capital region need to start supporting you know its own ed economic state it's, it's, far, it's part of a big plan to become a, a major power here. No! Why would I give you military access? You declared war on us, Paraguay. No. Alright, and let's see. Okay, we got 2.1. Let's see. Change the national focus of our... No, not Aeolios. Bilolaeus to uh, bureaucrats. Change the focus. Yeah, I know. I know there's a high amount of bureaucrats there. But change the focus over here to bureaucrats too. And then we're just going to adjust it so that then this becomes 1%. And that way we get two bonuses to research, which is what we kind of need right now. Okay. We kind of need two bonuses to research. And that way our research is just like really awesome. I mean, look at this. We're going up by points each time because I'm just like recruiting so much. That's awesome right there. That's awesome. And let's see. How is my decay right now in terms of administrative power? Pretty bad. <laughs> it's going pretty bad, but at least we got a couple good state, you know, strong state efficiency right over here, but not so strong over here. Oh man, it probably, it's gonna help in the future. Trust me, people. Like we're gonna have a much stronger state, but for right now, we're gonna have to deal with a little bit weaker of a state. You know, if I probably increase this to like 70, 70, we're not gonna increase this to 71 because I still think my economy is not quite strong enough to deal with that. It's strong, but not quite that strong. <laughs> If I must describe it as anything, it's that. All right, uh, we should have 1.1. I'm gonna wait until we get to 1. Point, um, 1.10 again, and then I'll start like um, and then I'll start like uh, encouraging craftsmen here. Okay, let's see. We got 10.9. Peru somehow became independent again. What the heck is going on with Peru, Bolivia? What the? I what? 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 Okay, so you're allied with Peru, Bolivia. Okay, I get that. Let's see. Would you guys like to form an alliance, by the way? Ah, oh, why? Infamy would be the main reason. Goodness gracious, I wish it didn't have it for me. Yes, this is a better. All right. Yes, they don't like me, but let me just increase the relationship with them. But wow. Why did Peru? What happened to you, Peru, Bolivia? You were actually shaping up to be a very powerhouse over here. Uh, let's get realism next. Uh, do we have time for ideological thoughts? Hmm. I'm almost debating that we should get this first. But we could also. Is market structure available? Not quite yet. Uh, we could get this. Morale, conscious, education efficiency. Education uh, Education efficiency would really help out. Would really boost us. <sighs> All right. I think we have just enough time to get it right there. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good on prestige and economic power and all that kind of good jazz. So I guess we don't have to care too much. But, hmm. Well, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well start thinking to see if there's any kind of region I would like to take from 
you know, our good friends over here in uh, Bol Peru, Bolivia? Or do I want to still save up for conquering Paraguay? One of those two options is still viable at this point. And let's see. Okay. And now that we got this build, latest, let's start encouraging craftsmen here. Uh, encourage craftsmen. Over here, I want to encourage immigration. Let's see. Why do I want to encourage immigration? Because I really want a lot of immigrants to build alleles. I want to make sure that this state grows to a little bit bigger size. Let's see if that will help increase its population by a little bit. Especially if we just have just a couple people join there, that will make the region way more powerful, which is kind of what we need. We need that region to be a way bigger powerhouse in the future. And let's see, attracting immigration. And let's see, there's enough jobs right here to support a good factory. Probably just need the factory workers in the beginning. Let's fill up this factory as quickly as possible to prioritize it. Timber throw output and let's see. Chile, you at war? No. Okay, you guys, you're still at war with South Peru. I don't know how South Peru has survived this long, but it's still living to this day. I give it credit. That's the longest I've ever seen South Peru live. And it's honestly kind of surprising me at the same time. Oh no, liberals are coming up. Whatever shall I do? It isn't like I want liberals to be in power. 75. 3, 4, 5. There we go. Alright. And education and everything is being prioritized above all else. I'm looking at my clergymen. The population is already starting to go down. Uh, this is going up significantly. This actually, Entele Leos might actually become the second biggest region if I you know, time this right. And with that extra people coming, we are having major, major, major boost to our taxes, economy, and everything, which is what we kind of need. Like, all this kind of stuff. If you were a big country, all this kind of stuff would be meaningless, and you would never need to do it in a million years. But since we're a small country, this is kind of required. Okay. And we actually do have two industrial power. Yay! That is really awesome, actually. Okay, and since we're six right now in terms of prestige, I believe I can probably take the ten prestige hits. Uh, no. <laughs> I think ten prestige would probably drop me out of, um, great power, well, second day power ranking. I was about to say great power, no. Okay, and we do have more money now. Uh, do I want to keep that 1% tariff? Yes. Seek for 5. I do have to increase this by a little bit. 79, 70. Let's increase that, 74, 75. I can increase it to 70 right now. There we go. And let's see, our economy is still doing really well. Let's see, we can also encourage another project in, um, we actually, wait, we don't actually have a project here, so we can encourage it right now. Let's do that. I want to encourage as many uh, factories as possible. Not because necessarily I'll keep all these factories, you know, in the future. I just want to make sure people are actually thinking, Hmm, we should probably move, you know, we should probably get more people here. Because there's jobs, and there's more people, and there's more stuff. As you guys can see, I'm already, um, this region's about to get to 100k, which I'm really hoping it's going to do. We also, we also have a, oh my goodness, our Irish population is insane. But wait, wait, the, we have a licensing act. Wait, before we do anything, the licensing act. Influenced by intense lobbying from the Temperance League, one of our states have adopted a licensing regulation that allows residents the right to issue or restrict liquor license in the local districts. With strong public support, the licensing act has thus prohibited the sale of liquor throughout the state. Many local breweries have been denied the the right to sell their products locally and have been forced into bankruptcy. Locals are free to do as they see fit. All poor are really angry at me. All middle class are happy with me. Um, forced to appeal of the act. All poor are nice to me. All middle are happy and just all this kind of thing. So basically what this saying is do I want to make the uh, poor and rich class mad and make the middle class happy or what do I want to do? Well if Alcohol, I guess, in the long run isn't going to be that helpful, but I also, um, let's see, I have to kind, of, I have to kind of look at my, I have to kind of look and see how many people actually drink. I wish, it, I wish there was a stat right here to see how many people in my country actually drink, because that would be really helpful right about now. Or at least I knew the percentage of how many people like. Th this would be a good UI change. How many people of the poor do I know actually drink, and how many people of the rich? Do I know actually drink how many people in the middle actually drink it so I know and so forth. But generally speaking, if I'm going to go with my personal beliefs, um, eh, I don't really care. 
I guess I'll make the poor mad at me. If the poor are mad at me, that usually means that they'll try to pass more reforms, which is what I need. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another great episode where I'm just talking about all sorts of stuff. And I want to, and I hope you guys will continue with this series. It seems really fun. I'm really starting to play, you know, as I play. And I hope we'll, yeah, hope we'll continue in the future. So, see you guys in the future!